this will be the final question. And so I have read a statement from the WPI. It says mm -hmm. to all the humanists, to all the women's right activists and to the activists of the war, support us. In the statement, it says that and pressure your government to support the Iranian revolution. Like it is what basically the statement is saying. I agree with that. But the thing is like, because like for the Western country, it is really apparent that like they can just pressure their government and do the thing. But for the Obama, we have a really unique condition because we are currently in a revolution as well. So we have a really yeah, yeah. similar situation as in Iran. So what can we do like a Bami's progressive or Bami's communist to support the Iranian revolution? What can we do? Like, because like for me personally, I'm just trying to protest in Brisbane here with the Kurdish society. And then I get along with them, talk to them and try to protest whenever I can. So that is pretty much the best I can do at the moment. And, and also like I try to like, give, give platform to the Iranian friends. And because I, I have some connections with the WPI, so I whatever I can do, I translate their videos, I translate their statement. Because like WPI indeed influenced me to a certain extent because like I was a Stalinist. I think most of the communists, they started as a Stalinist for my always. I was one. In fact, when I read Mansa Hakmet analysis on the nation of Buzer Z I was like, wow, that's really great. And then I started to dig into his uh like biography and his references that he used in that book. And that is really great. Yeah. So like my point is like, what can we do as a Bami's progressive? Because like we also have the Islamophobe. So we could say like not the Islamophobe in terms of the Western narrative way. We can say the anti-Muslim bigots in Myanmar as well. So like it is not limited to the because like in Myanmar we have a, a big complex phenomena because like they hate Muslim and they also hate Islam and they try to match both of them. So that is a bit hard for us. So like it is not blatant racism at all. It is more like they also hate the religion and that is one of the reasons. And then they also hate the Muslim itself. So I, I also face discrimination just because I was born as one. But the thing is like, we also have to sort it out, but we can just sort it out organically by ourselves. But the point is like, what can we do to support the Iranian revolution at the moment? It's the Bami's communist or Bami's progressive. Yeah. First of all, let me just say that thank you for asking this question. Like, you know, I'm against genocide against Muslim people. Like, I don't like Islam, that's for sure. But if you like, you know, you, you choose to be Muslim or you are born in a Muslim family, no one's supposed to like deny your right or like attack you or kill you. So genocide against Muslim is just, it's not acceptable. It's just like, you know, very heartbreaking. And I'm just so against it. We criticize Islam because we would like people to have a better life. We don't hate Muslim people. And of course, we don't like you know support um, genocide against any any sort of uh, group of people, specifically Muslims. And it's really sad to hear that what you, what you said. But if you in regarding like you know how you can like you know support the Islamic uh, the, the, the how how you can like support like you know the revolution at the moment, it's like I think uh, you as a citizens of you as a person who lives in Australia, it's important that you sign the petitions, for example, like you know. These petitions, like you know, by the like rising the number of like you know signatures, can force the government to specifically like you know stop supporting the Islamic regime. If there is demonstration, you can join the demonstration. You can share the videos on social media, and that's it. Like the most things should be done, and it's getting done by the Iranian people. If you sign the petition and join the demonstration and like show solidarity through social media, I think that would be a great help. Like you know, Masa Amini hashtag. Uh, was like, you know, was used on Twitter more than like millions of times. I don't have like, you know, specific numbers, but it was more than millions of times. In, in inside the country where the internet speeds like very low and internet is blocked, I can tell it was not only Iranian using this hashtag. There are like a decent people of the world like you and other people like, you know, using this hashtag and show solidarity with the Iranian people. And when there is like, you know, the hashtag trending, then the government cannot ignore it so asking like how we can support just show solidarity on social media like you know, keep sharing Mariam Namazi or like you know uh, ex-Muslims uh, like tweets and share this and try to like you know spread the world what's happening and sign a petition and join the demonstration I think that's the things you and like you know the other citizens can do at the moment for the Iranian revolution 
Yeah, thank you for saying that. That is a really good advice. Yeah. Any any like last message to the Bamis people that you want to say? Is there any messages? The the messages would be like if the women's revolution uh, can downfall the Islamic regime, if Iran turn to be a secular states, I think world would be a much better place to live. We can we would we we we, we possibly can expect more peace less Islamic terrorism, less terrorism, general speaking. Uh, Iran is a great country, like in the Middle East is a great place to be. There's like a history, there is like, um, how to say, um, beautiful places, uh, decent people. So if Middle East can be like, you know, secular and a safe place where people can travel, use it as like a tourism destination, I think that world would be a much, much better world to live rather than Islamic when there's always a war Islamists killing Islamists, like Islamic governments promoting Islamic terrorism in the world. So what I'm saying is like support and stand on the side of the Iranian women, for example, or people who would like to, to like get away, to get rid of Islamism in Middle East and like turn those countries to a secular states. That would be, that would be uh, an act that you can do to make the world a better place to live. That would be my message. And that would be my last sentence to summarize the seminar. And I would like to thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure to be and talking to you. And I'm hoping that like in early future, I can attend some more program of yours.